Well, hello, God bless you, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here, and I pray that you're having a fantastic day. What a mighty God we serve. The God of the Bible is alive and well. He's good, and I thank God, my friends, for being saved, listen to this, sanctified and filled with the precious Holy Ghost. Some of you out there say Holy Spirit. Well, however you, whether you call him the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit, I thank God for the Spirit of God dwelling on the inside, my heart being cleansed by the blood of Jesus, and I boldly and gladly identify as a born again Christian who loves Jesus Christ, and I know that you love Jesus, and we're blessed to be alive and in the land of the living. I want to read a couple of passages of scriptures to you today, because I have something that I just want you to think about. The Bible says this in 1 John chapter number 4 and verse 1, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try test the spirits, whether they are of God, for many false prophets are gone out into the world. Spirit here literally is doctrine. Numa spirit, it has to do with a, a current, a breeze, uh, but in this c context, he's speaking here of false doctrines. Uh, John strikes a blow at the antinomians, and he also strikes a blow at the perfectionism teachings, the antinomianism, uh, antinorms, uh, against laws, no rules, perfectionism, the teaching that once you become born again, you are actually perfect. Both ideologies, both doctrines were false. And there are those today, you know, the construct people, they're the ones who believe today you can just make up your own rules, be who you want to be, do like you want to do, live like you want to live, and that it's all right. And you don't have to go by the church or go by uh, any morals or anything that you've been taught uh, uh, in the past because the, these things uh, were made up constructs. So now you freed yourself where you can do what you want to do. Well, that's the devil, my friends. That's the world. And, and we're warned to be aware of them. And the Bible says this in verse 4 of 1 John uh, chapter number 4. It says, you are of God, little children, and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in in the world. Thank God, saints, we are overcomers. This, the Bible goes on to say they are of the world. That is the, the Antichrist, the false teachers, people who are coming forth with these false doctrines, people who are trying to tell us that a man can be a woman, a woman can be a man, a white person can be black, black person can be white, so forth and so on. The Bible says they are of the world. Therefore speak they of the world and the world heareth them. We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. Now, I'll tell you something. Many of you believers out there today, I, I, sometimes I wonder whether you're actually true believers because based on the things you post, based on the positions you take, you seem to be more friendly to the positions of the world than you are to the teachings of Jesus Christ. And we are called as believers to hear those who preach the word of God and teach God's word. Ye are of God, he that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth us not. Hereby we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Based on your response to God's truth, whether you accept it or believe it, that lets us know whether or not that speaks to whether you are operating under the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Now, the spirit of error will make you make a complete fool of yourself, and people are doing it. I just want to read this to you, uh, my friends, and I, I thank God for the opportunity to speak to you today. The Bible says in Romans chapter number 1, verse 22, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. Professing themselves themselves to be wise. Uh, they became fools, professing themselves to be wise. They became fools and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like unto corruptible man and uh, uh, to birds 
and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Thinking that they were wise, they became fools. Now, I'll tell you, that's happening, and we we're seeing it right before our eyes. Now, most of you who are watching this, you were alive back in 2015, and you have a good memory, and you remember Rachel Delazar. Rachel Delazar, you know, the white lady who changed her name to N. Kathy Amari uh, Diallo. Now, whether I read the made-up name right or not, it was made up, so it doesn't matter. But her name was Rachel Delazar. And Rachel, oh, she, uh, according to this, uh, she, she kind of fleeced the government and she got uh, uh, over 8000 almost $9,000 and uh, uh, <laughs> uh, on the government's dole getting welfare payments. But here is, here is all the rage about Rachel. Rachel was outed by her parents. Her parents, she was, her parents called her a liar. She was outed by her parents because her parents told the truth about her. Rachel is that lady, a uh, white lady who pretended to be black. And, uh, uh, and I tell you, everybody got upset with Rachel. So for years, Rachel Delazar led a secret life in the Pacific Northwest. Her friends believed she was a black woman with a passion for African-American issues. Others saw her as a, vo a vocal civil rights leader who later became the local NAACP president in Spokane, Washington. Now, uh, she was known, known for uh, being a black woman and passionate about African-American issues. Now, hey, but when they found out that she was a white woman, it didn't matter how vocal she was. It didn't matter how hard she worked. It didn't matter that she was, uh, 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 was a local NAACP uh, 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 president in Spokane, Washington, none of that stuff mattered. How dare she, a white woman, pretend to be a black woman? And uh, everybody let Rachel Delazar have it. I mean, they 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 laid into uh, old Rach. But I want to give you an apology, Sister Delazar, because you, you your biggest problem is uh, Rachel is that you 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 made your move. Um, um, probably seven, eight years uh, too early. Because if you were living in 2023, and had you tried that in 2023, we found out in 2023, parents, i.e. Dwayne Wade and uh, his wife, can pretend that their son is their daughter and there is no outrage about that at all. Now, which is closer? Is, is a white woman closer to being a black woman than a black boy is to being a black girl? Which, is, which, which one do you seem, to, to you, seems to be more outrageous? A, a, a white lady? Uh, pretending to be black. And when you look at the picture, Gary has the picture up there. You have to admit, she looked like a sister now. She got the braids going and uh, uh, a rather nice looking lady. I don't know her. I, I, they got her for fraud. And uh, she certainly did a, 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 a put down a piece of lying. But now, on the other hand, watch this. Uh, and, and I'm talking to you about the world. Now, there's this uh, comedian um I don't think I'm going to even share her name. You know, if you know her, you know her. If you don't, you don't. I'm not trying to get you to watch her show. It's laced with profanity. And to be honest with you, I did not watch it. But I do have the report here. Uh, in her rant, uh, in her show, uh, she made a joke that uh, got her in trouble. It was outrageous. It, it, it showed that Delazar made her move too soon. She did this joke, and, uh, you know, when Kobe Bryant, which there's nothing to joke about about that, the great basketball player, when uh, he lost his life uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the crash, the helicopter crash, uh, but, but his daughter was with him, 
And uh, one of the things that um, just circulated was uh, hashtag girl dad. Uh, and from what I understand, he was a tremendous dad and his daughter was a tremendous uh, young lady. And um, may they rest in peace. Uh, but uh, but uh, uh, this comedian, uh, she did this. She 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 said the hashtag uh, dad Hashtag girl dad was such a big movement. Dwayne Wade and his son got in on some of the action. And what did she say that for? Oh, you would have thought that she killed somebody by the reaction of many who called her bottom uh, borderline homophobic. Oh, they had some things to say when the uh, it, listen. It was a well-timed joke, you have to admit, uh, uh, because, you know, it's COVID. It, it is uh, Dwayne Wade out there uh, who is calling his son, his daughter. He just uh, got an, uh, an award from the NAACP uh, uh, Image Award or whatever. Uh, he and uh, his wife, as he calls his son, uh, his daughter. And uh, people are attack, uh, attacking this uh, comedian whom I do not defend. I would not even call her name. I don't want to send you uh, her way. I, I did not watch her stand up. I won't watch it. Uh, it's laced with profanity. But, th but this, this line, what she said, uh, shows that people, when, when men, when men fail to believe God's truth, people will believe anything. And people are coming down on her, giving her thumbs down, attacking her. Uh, I, I, mean, I don't know if she's funny or not. I know she wouldn't be funny to me because I don't think all the profanity and stuff is funny. But I do think that that she had the courage or maybe nobody told her that you don't you don't you don't touch that sacred cow you can't say anything about Dwayne Wade's daughter even though it's actually Dwayne Wade's son if you call the 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 son his son his son you're homophobic if you call his son his son something's wrong with you if you call his son anything other than his daughter then then you're an outcast and you 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 go you're going to get attacked well it's his son it's his son that's his son Dwayne Wade that's your son Wake up, man. That's your son. A man cannot turn himself into a woman. A woman cannot turn himself into a man. Now, you all are the main ones who've been telling me, trust biology. Trust biology. Trust the science. Does biology say that after you mutilate a man's body, pump him full of female hormones, pump him full of estrogen, throw a a dress on him and a wig, does biology, does DNA say that that's a woman or that that is still a male, a man? Does it, does it change after you've done all of that Frankenstein stuff to his body, messing up the, making it a Frankenstein's monster when you swab the old uh, a saliva there in the mouth DNA still says the same thing. Professing ourselves to be wise, we've become fools. Now, preacher, I'm almost through. Why are you talking about this stuff, man? You're talking about Rachel Delazar. You're talking about NAACP. You're talking about uh, uh, this, this joke by an unsaved comedian. Why in the world are you talking about this while trying to get us to attend Bible study? I think that's a fantastic question. Because I want you to see that the scriptures are relevant. I want you to be able to recognize, recognize God's truth in the public square. I want you to know the truth of God and be able to talk about these things from a biblical perspective at the water fountain, at the water cooler, at work. I want you to be armed with God's truth. So when the world, even though, listen, we live in the world, we're in this planet. Parents, your children go to the same bus stop as other children do. We work in the same factories, the same corporations. We, we go to the same grocery stores. We go to the same ball games. We live in this world.
And we need to be armed with God's truth and need to be trained to recognize the devil and the work of the world and the idiocy of the world. I mean the way they slam Rachel Delazar, you to think Rachel killed 10 people. And now, in just, uh, that was 2015, and here we are in just 2023. In 2023, a man can pretend to be a woman. And all of us are told that we got to learn new pronouns, that we got to learn a whole new language, that we got to go along with it. People have lost their jobs. All oh, teachers have been sent home. The government have clamped down on people. All because people uh, won't play the game. When just uh, seven or eight years ago, Rachel, good old Rach, depend, uh, pretended to be a black woman. You know what? Silly me. She would have been fine had she pretended to be a black man. <laughs> oh, my spirit. Listen, you got to laugh at this stuff. You got to laugh at it because you listen. You can't let the enemy play with your mind. The Bible says this, and I'm closing. I got a big invitation. I got a big announcement for you tonight. The Bible says this. Woe be unto him. Uh Isaiah 45 and verse 9, woe be unto him that striveth with his maker. You're not supposed to transgender community, leftists, liberals, atheists, agnostics, sinners, and some who claim to be in the church. Impending doom, woe, you're in trouble when you strive, when you argue with your maker. So let the pot serve, let the broken pieces of clay pots, argue with the broken pieces of clay pots. Uh, uh, shall the clay say to him that fashioned it, what makest thou? The clay has no right to say to the potter, what are you doing? And the clay doesn't. Well, you have no right to say to God, what were you doing when you made me a man? When you made me a male, or when you made me female, or you made me, uh, 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 you became a woman, you can't say to God, Lord, you got it wrong. What were you doing? God, you made a mistake. He didn't make the mistake, my friends. We've made the mistake. You've made the mistake. And this preacher, and many others like me, we're dedicated to presenting the word of God to you in such a manner where you will recognize the truth of the scriptures in the public square. You need to know that, yes, the Bible speaks to all of these things. The Bible speaks to all of these things. Everything you need to know to get through this maze of life is contained in the word of God. And the word of God will make you free. Now, tonight, 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 I want to invite you to the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. I have a treat for you tonight. Yours truly tonight will be preaching in Arkansas, preaching the word of God out there with the saints of God in Arkansas. And uh, I'm so Honored to be with Bishop Joel Withers. What a tremendous man of God uh, he is. And we're going to have some wonderful church out there uh, with the saints of God. Uh, excuse me here. Uh, in uh, <clears throat> Arkansas, uh, in the Arkansas First uh, Conference, the Spring Conference. And I'm excited about being with them. But I have a mighty, mighty, mighty preacher who is going to deliver the word of the Lord to you tonight. And with this being Women's Month, I'm honored uh, that uh, uh, evangelist missionary, Crystal Amanchuku, will be the guest speaker tonight, right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. And if you have heard her before, before you know that she's a preacher. And if you haven't heard, I want you to tune in Oh, you're going to be blessed by the ministry of this young lady. 
God's going to use her in mighty ways. And uh, we, uh, 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 I'm excited about what God is going to do through her. And we will return uh, back. We will be in our in place uh, Sunday. And I'm excited uh, about that. And uh, uh, for those who are in the Virginia area, meet me uh, for the Virginia Third Workers Meeting. Um, Friday, March the 17th, I'm leaving Arkansas and going to Virginia and we're going to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ with power and authority there. So tonight, 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 meet with, the, with I'm going to say meet me, but meet us here at the upper room, Church of God in Christ for good preaching and Bible study. She's going to preach and teach the word of God. You're going to say amen and the Lord's going to bless us real good. And until the next time we come together, may God's choice blessings be yours. Thank you for putting up with me. I ran it a little long today, but you have to admit they were hard on Rachel Delazar. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs>